Greetings, my friend. Nick with Sweetwater here. I sincerely hope that you and yours are doing well. Welcome to yet another installment of Bocot's Bunker, a series of low-tech, no-budget quarantine videos filmed on my phone while at home, alone. As you've just seen, this installment is called Four Simple Jimmy Page Licks That Rock. Here they are with a backing track so you can hear them in context. Like I said, they're pretty simple but very effective and great to use in your own songs and solos. I've plundered them from four Zeppelin classics, and those classics are Stairway to Heaven, Black Dog, The Lemon Song, and of course, Whole Lot of Love. <laughs> To keep things simple, we're going to learn all four licks in the key of E minor, and you'll be happy to know that only two scales are used. Yes, just two. The E minor pentatonic and the E minor blues. Here they are. The E minor pentatonic is a five note scale that goes E, G, A, B, and D before going back to E an octave higher. Like this. E, G, A, B, D, and then E an octave higher. Here it is played up and down the neck in the 12th position. The E minor blues scale is merely the E minor pentatonic with this bad boy, that flat fifth or B flat, add it like this. Here's the scale played across the whole neck up and down at the 12th position. Lick one is an instantly recognizable Jimmy Page classic from Whole Lot of Love. It uses the E minor blues scale and it goes just like this. And here's lick one again, a little bit slower. Let's break this into two bite-sized chunks. Chunk number one is going to be the first five notes, which are these. Now if the first three notes, namely these ones, sound familiar, it's because it's the ace freely lick we covered in bunker one, except played in E minor instead of A. We start by doing this. We do a whole step bend at the 14th fret of the G string using our third finger and reinforcing it with our middle finger as well, like this. Bend finger, reinforcement finger. And remember, wrap your thumb over the top as well to, for extra stability and strength. So here we go again. Bend, reinforced, thumb for strength and stability. The next note is at the 12th fret on the B string using your first finger like this. So we do bend, then that. Then the note after that is at the same fret, the 12th fret, but on the high E string like this. So we go. Notice for both simplicity and economy, I'm barring both the high E string and the B string with my first finger. Yes, clever stuff. The last two notes of this section are the D note at the 15th fret on the B string, followed by the B note at the 12th fret on the same string. Notice that I'm using my pinky to fret the 15th fret. Don't ignore this little guy, he's extremely useful. Here are all five notes played together. One more time. Once you've mastered this chunk, it's time to move on to chunk two of the lick, which goes like this. And again, a little slower. As you can see and hear, this bad boy consists of six notes and they're all played on the G string. Hurrah! 
It starts with the flattened fifth of the blues scale, the B flat note at the 15th fret. We're going to use our pinky to play this, like this. The next note is at the 14th fret on the same string. And then the next note is at the 12th fret on the same string. But we pull off to the 14th and 12th frets like this. So we go pick, pull, pull. So once again, pick, pull, pull. After that, you pick the A note at the 14th fret on the G string again. Then the G note at the 12th fret. And then finish the lick the same way we started it with the whole step bend at the 14th fret like this. Here's the whole six notes of section two played together one more time. Once you've nailed this sucker, it's time to join it with section one and play them both together. Here they are, slowly. And here's lick one, a tad faster. Lick two is stolen from the end of Jimmy Page's timeless Stairway to Heaven solo. It's a simple E minor triplet lick, and this is how it goes. And here's lick two again, a little bit slower. The repeated three note pattern that makes up the body of this lick is this, a pull off from the 15th fret to the 12th fret on the high E string, followed by the B note at the 12th fret on the B string, just like this. Once again, pick, pull off, pick. Notice that I'm barring the B and high E strings at the 12th fret with my first finger and performing the pull off with my pinky. We repeat this triplet a total of four times, then finish lick two off with a whole step bend at the 15th fret on the high E string, like this one. As you just witnessed, I did this bend with my little finger thus. You could of course do it with your third finger like this, which is easier, but I would heartily recommend learning to do so with your pinky like this. Now notice how I'm reinforcing the little guy with my third, second, and first fingers. This really is a great skill to have in your arsenal. And hey, Zach Wilde does it all the time, so it must be a good habit to have. But wait, we're not done with lick two yet. We've missed a note. Right, so let's solve the mystery of the miskin action note in lick two. Lick two starts with what's known as a pickup note. What's a pickup note, do I hear you ask? Well, it's merely a note that's played before the main body of a lick or run starts on the count of one. Lick two's pickup note is this one, the B at the 12th fret on the B string. Here's lick two played without its pickup note. One, two, three, four. And here it is played with the pickup note. One, two, three, four. Now, I don't know about you, but I definitely preferred the latter, the one with the pickup note. Why? Well, to me, it had more of that attitude and swagger that Jimmy Page is rightfully so famous for. Swagger, pickup note, attitude, all good! Cool, we're halfway there. Time for a well-earned coffee break. Yep, my friend, it's coffee time. A buddy of mine just sent me this. Said it's amazing. So let's see what it says on the tin, shall we? Hmm, dark roast, intense, bold, our darkest brew. Hmm, sounds like it could be ideal. Oh, this could be just the ticket. Let's try it, shall we? Oh, yeah! Right, Java breakover. Time for lick three, which is taken from Black Dog. This continues the triplet feel of lick two, by the way. And this is what it sounds like. And here it is again, a little slower. It starts with this triplet, the E note at the 12th fret of the high E string with your first finger, followed by the D note at the 15th fret of the B string with your pinky, and then a pull off the B note at the 12th fret on the same string. So it's pick, pick, 
pull off. One more time. Pick, pick, pull off. Notice that once again, I'm barring the B and high E strings with my first finger. Also, don't avoid using your pinky. Put the little guy to work. This guy here, he's useful. The next two notes in this lick are a whole step bend at the 14th fret of the G string, followed by the B note at the 12th fret on the wait for it B string, like this. Now, the timing of this bend is really important as it keeps the triplet feel going. If I count it, it's like this. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Make sense? Actually, if we didn't do the bend, this is effectively what we'd be playing here. One, two, three. Got it? It's a triplet feel. Now what we do is repeat what we've just learned, and that's lick three. Here's the whole thing one more time, played slowly. And a little bit quicker. And remember, don't be tempted to rush that bend. It's this. Not this. Little things that kill, my friend. Little things that kill. And last, but certainly not least, we come to lick number four. This is an E minor pentatonic descent, and it goes something like this. And here's lick six again, a little slower. This one consists of 14 notes and it uses the E minor pentatonic scale. Let's break it down into two chunks, an eight note chunk and a six note chunk. Here's the first chunk played slowly. It starts with a whole step bend at the 14th fret of the G string like this. And remember, as we've discussed many times already, reinforce that bend and wrap the thumb over for strength and stability. After the bend, we jump over the B string and go straight to the E note at the 12th fret on the high E string, this one here. And then from here, we simply descend the E minor pentatonic scale like this. We pick the D note at the 15th fret on the B string and then pull off the B note at the 12th fret on the same string. Then we do a pull off from the 14th fret to the 12th fret on the G. And the exact same thing on the D. Pick, pull off. Here are those eight notes of section A played again slowly. And a little bit faster. And once you've mastered that, it's time for the second section, the last six notes of lick four. And here they are again, a little slower. The first three notes are all on the A string. We do yet another 14th fret to 12th fret pull off like this. And then we slide our first finger from the 12th fret to the 10th fret. So it's pick, pull, slide. Pick, pull, slide. Three notes for the price of one pick. Hurrah! The last three notes are all at the 12th fret and fretted with your third finger. We start with the E note at the 12th fret on the low E string. Then we go to the A note at the 12th fret on the A string. Then back to the E on the low E string. So like this, E, A, E. Now notice how all I'm doing is just laying my third finger down to play the A note, like this. Economy of motion, dear boy. Economy of motion. And now guess what we're gonna do? Yes, you're correct, we're gonna put both sections together. Here it is slowly. A little faster. One more time. And there you have it, my friend. Four simple Jimmy Page licks that kick major ass. Have fun incorporating them in your own songs and solos because they're great for that. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'll be back soon with some more. But in the meantime, practice your guitar, look after yourself, and yep, wash those hands. I'm out. See ya!